Dave Lees has given out new insights about the future of the Russian couple. The transition of Davis and Smolkin to the US team is becoming more obvious with every news. At the beginning of June, the world of figure skating broke out with loud news, Tuckbirds' daughter Diana Davis, along with her partner Gleb Smolkin, will compete for the USA. This was reported by an American journalist, the creator of the Thieskattenglesson podcast, Dave Lees. The reaction to the insider appeared soon enough. What interesting news we will find out about ourselves, Diana wrote, without directly refuting the Fox's message. At the same time, the journalist is confident in his insider. Moreover, he found information according to which Diana and Gleb are married. Marriage with a U.S. citizen, which is Davis, will allow Smolkin to freely compete for the American national team not only at regular starts, but also at the Olympic Games. So are Davis and Smolkin moving to the U.S. national team after all? Hold on tight. The Terry has confirmed that Diana Davis will represent the USA, Dave Lees wrote two weeks ago. The journalist's information caused a contradictory reaction. Someone flatly refused to believe the Americans' insider, like Tatyana Tarasova, Ilya Averbik and Lyudmila Velikova. Someone approved this choice, realizing that in the current situation with Russian sports, a change of citizenship may be the only chance to continue his career. Rather than sit without international competitions, since Diana has a passport, maybe it's better to play for the USA. I don't think Diana and Gleb will skate for the USA. Although we will see how the situation develops. If, for example, Russia was deprived of international competitions for 20 years hypothetically, I would not reject such a possibility. After all, people have one life. There are a maximum of 10 years left to ride. If they understand perfectly well that they will never see either the World Cup or the Olympic Games, why reject this opportunity? Julin told the championship. Davis and Smolkin got married for the sake of playing for the USA? The discussion unfolded on a large scale, but the majority of fans and experts still did not trust Fox's information. However, the journalist did not refuse his words. Even when Diana Davis tried to reject them. I heard this from a coach whose daughter is also engaged in ice dancing. They discussed a possible change of the flag and, according to him, when he contacted the American Federation, he was told that the Terry Tutbirds had already addressed them with a similar question. Probably, it could be about how real the transition of the davis Smolkin pair under the US flag would be. So there were rumors, yes. So I wasn't surprised when I was relayed this conversation by Ethery at the Florida airport. They are in the process of making a decision. Although my source claims that Tutbird speaks about it quite definitely, Liz said in an interview. Sports.ru. Two weeks of conversations about the change of sports citizenship of Davis and Smolkin were not heard. But Dave Lees broke the silence and gave another insider. According to him, Diana and Gleb will be screened at the USA Figure Skating Federation on June 30. Moreover, the Fox found information on the website clerk.clarkountain. Gov confirming that Diana and Gleb got married on March 18, Russian figure skaters were suspended from international competitions on March 1st. APROX. Championship. It is possible that the skaters could have done it for love because they did not hide their tender feelings for each other. But maybe there is a double bottom in this decision, marriage with a US citizen, which is Davis, will allow Smolkin to freely play for the American national team, including at the Olympic Games. According to US laws, Gleb will be able to obtain citizenship three years after marriage, and this is an essential condition for performing at the Olympic Games. With every news, the transition of Davis and Smolkin to the US national team becomes more and more obvious, and the skaters can be understood. They have been training and living in America for several years, and it will be problematic for them to go to all competitions within the framework of the domestic season. And if they decide to skip the season, they can easily lose the status of one of the main pairs of the national team. The transition is also supported by the fact that, speaking for the United States, Diana and Gleb will be able to participate in international competitions, to which Russian athletes have no access and it is unclear when it will be. 
considering that there are four years left before the Olympic Games and Gleb can get American citizenship no earlier than three years after the wedding, the decision had to be made immediately. Perhaps the skaters will regret it yet. In Russia, they quickly climbed the career ladder, bypassing the traditional queue in ice dancing, and earned the support of the Federation. In the USA, it will definitely not be so easy, and the competition there is more serious. In the end, perhaps a miracle will happen, and Russian athletes will be returned to international competitions quickly. And after the maneuver with the change of sports citizenship, there will definitely be no way back for Davis and Smolkin. But it seems that the guys have already made their choice. Whether it turns out to be true or not, only time will tell.